forward. All right, so tool six is in the cutting position. And with the handle jog mode, I'm gonna jog over so that tool six is in front of the workpiece, but not touching it. So it's in front of the workpiece, but not touching it. And next I'm gonna take this dowel pin. And so I know that this dowel pin is uh, five, five eighths of an inch. So it's 0.625 inches. So make sure it's clean, doesn't have any debris on it. And I'm gonna try to fit the dowel pin between the tool and the face of the part and it doesn't fit. So I'm gonna take the dowel pin out and I'm gonna jog a little bit away. And then I'm gonna try again to fit the dowel pin between the tool and the face of the part that doesn't fit. So I'm gonna jog away again. And I'm gonna to try to fit the dowel pin between the face and it doesn't fit. So I'm gonna jog a little bit away. And I iterate this until the dowel pin fits. And so now the dowel pin fits between the face of the part and the tool. I take the dowel pin out and come closer by one click and see if it fits. And it still fits, so I'm gonna come one more click, but I'm never jogging towards the workpiece with the dowel pin in between the tool and the workpiece. So now it just barely fits. I can feel it touching. I'm gonna do one more click. And now it just doesn't fit. On the controller when we're jogging, on the controller when we're jogging, we can set how fast we want it to move or how far we want it to move for each click. And so right next to the handle jog button here, this will move one ten thousandth of an inch for each click. This will move one thousandth of an inch for each click. This will move ten thousandths. This is the setting that we were on. So I'm going to move it to the setting that's one smaller than that. Come back in the lathe. And so now my dowel pin does not fit. I'm going to jog away one click at a time until it does. And you notice every time I'm clicking, I'm moving the dowel pin out from the space in between so that if I accidentally go the wrong direction, I don't jog towards the dowel pin. And so now it just barely fits. So that means the tool is within one thousandth of an inch of the diameter of the dowel pin away from the face of the part. Now I can get it to within 10 thousandths by repeating that with the 10 thousandth. And so now now the tool is within one ten thousandth of an inch away from the dowel pin diameter from the face of the part. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to the offsets page on the controller. And so I'll hit the offset button until the screen says that the tool offsets are highlighted. This is tool six and I'm setting the Z offset. So I want the Z offset to be highlighted and I can press the Z face measure button. And when I do that, it says, it tells the machine that where the tool is right now is where the end of the workpiece is. Now I could subtract the diameter of the dowel pin. And to do that, I just make sure that I have the offset that I want highlighted here on the screen. 
And on the numeric keypad, I just do minus 0.625. Enter. And yes, I want to do that. And it subtracts the value that is stored in the offsets register in the controller. Now, the other tool that we're using is tool 10 to, I'm going to close the door, go back to the home position so I can change tools. And again, just like in the mill, I tell it the tool number. I want tool 10. I make sure I'm in the MDI mode and I do turret forward or turret reverse. And it changes to tool 10. Now I'm going to handle jog tool 10 over next to the part. And so tool 10 If you can see it, tool 10 is a cutoff tool or a deep grooving tool. And, uh, and the way we write our programs here at WPI is we always program the edge of the grooving tool to be the part that cut, touches the finished part. And so I, I could do the same method with my dowel pin, jog over until I can, or jog over and then jog away until I can slide the dowel pin in. Or I can take a little shortcut. I'm gonna go in Z until I'm past the end of the part. Come down in X until I'm close, maybe a quarter of an inch away. And I can take a straight edge. So I can take a straight edge like the one that we used to measure the part. And I'm gonna hold it on the face, sticking past it. And then I'm going to slowly jog in Z until I feel the edge of the tool touch my straight edge. And so it's just touching. I can now go back over here to my offsets. Make sure that we're on offsets, we're on Z. We're on Z, it's tool 10. I'm going to go ahead and say Z face measure. And I don't have to subtract anything because the edge of the tool is right where I want it to know the end of the part is. Now, if we use this method where we're setting the tools off the face of the workpiece, we want to make sure that the work offset cycle between tool and work offsets with the offset button. We want to make sure that the work offset for G54 is zero. And that way, it knows that all the tools are measured from the end of the workpiece. 